I knew I needed resources if I was gonna track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As a local vigilante, he exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Plumber rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape, and that's where I thought I'd find him. Kopalnia złoto, tak. Tu się Dobra broń, takie odległości. Okej. Okay. Chyba tu jest ta kopalnia. Secret. I co teraz? Tutaj chyba byłem. To jest chyba nie najlepszy pomysł. Tutaj schodzić. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine. So I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. Whoops. There were thieves, okay. killers, robbing travelers, and hijacking gold ships. Dobra, like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. You don't, you don't. Pink, yeah. Sam and Jeremiah Barber. Why? To be das. Trochę emocji z dynamitem. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life, stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. Okay. Star gold. 
course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone-cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand, while stealing them blind with the other. He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Poszło. Porzucamy troszeczkę. Jeśli Danny zobaczył Alfred Nobel's explosive invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. Ale za bardzo dużo amunicji. Dangerous, desperate individuals. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was touched. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? No. I thought I was some kind of hero. Just a. Yeah, me dali. I finally made it past and headed on to meet my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. Okay. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. So shit. Langer. Co to będzie za broń? Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around, and that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Jeszcze żyjecie. A to już nie ma dynamitu. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. O, nowy poziom. Co teraz musimy? Lofa. Single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Get a rush. Story is to me, Stella. Czy 
Czekaj, 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 czekaj. Okay. Quick reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. With all that gunpowder and dynamite everywhere, a body has to know what he's shooting at. Oj, to się załatwiło. To się teraz załatwiło. To nie był dobry pomysł. Okej. Okay. Yes. Zaś się dałem nabrać na to. Wszystko poszło. I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just moronic, but clearly insane. Kurde. No i czekaj stąd. Jasny gwint. Co to teraz było? Łoż, kurde. It's a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder. The way into the mine from the opposite side. Aha, tak to miało być. Ach. Nie tak. Dobre to było. Dobra, schodzimy na dół. It was a long way around, but that approach seemed more sensible at the time. Of course, B and I had a problem with heights. That scaffold and scared the bejesus out of me. Climbing down that ladder required some caution. Bo even though I had a younger man's reflexes, no man can dodge a damn bullet while climbing down a rickety ladder. I needed to make a leap of faith, which ain't easy when you're suspended between heaven and hell. Mr. Taras. Tutaj nie mogę. I was determined not give up, Howard. Ah, dało się. As Sheriff Plummer seemed quite the despicable character. When the vigilantes discovered what the sheriff was up to, people were outraged. That ten thousand they put on his head would go a long way to helping me find old Bob. I made it my mission to settle that score come hell or high water. But first, 
I would have to make a choice. Take the elevator or climb the ladder. Dobra, idziemy windą. I pick the more convenient and more dangerous route. Co to za winda, nie? W kopalni złota. O, a tu mam... Takie przywitanie w windzie jest, ja? Na kopalni. No, aż przed rabiną, tak? Na dół. Hmm, gdzie mnie to coś zaprowadzi? Tędy, tak? Czy ja tu dobrze idę? Nie, ja tędy przyszłem. Cholera jasna. Coś jest nie tak. To musiał iść do góry. Torendy. Plumber was a mad dog killer. And the people of the Nevada City deserved better. Nevada City? Well, I thought Plumber met his maker in Bannock, Montana. Dobre to było. Well, he was a sheriff of both places at one time or another, but that's neither here nor there. The point was, taking him down would save a lot of lives, including my own. Już teraz wszystko wiem. A teraz którędy? Tędy na dół. Ok. No to już mam. Kolejnego bossa. Sheriff Banjo, Kawawotra, Henry Pullman. No to będziemy walczyć teraz z nim. Henry Plummer was clearly unhinged, and I could see right away that this was going to take some doing. Czekaj, a może granatem go. Nie był tu na lepszy. Bo te beczki. Oh, 
Uwaga! Dobre! No. Jestem pulmel. Aha, to była pierwsza etap jego pokonania. A, z ciepie granatami. Oh my god. Niech to psy. No. Oj, oj, oj. Teraz go pokonaj. Nic z tego, panie Pulmel. Nie masz... Chcę cały czas patrzeć na Pulmela. A jak patrzysz na tego Pulmela, to potem... No, i po pulmecze. Na to ładnie. No, to się udało w końcu pokonać. Ten boss nie był aż taki trudny. So, did you finally go after that Bobfeller? Well, I heard word he was in Kansas with John Wesley Harden. So that's where I went. Where in Kansas? Abilene. Why do you ask, Ben? No reason. Was Harden as fast as Ringo? Ringo was fast, but John Wesley was as fast as the devil himself. Hell, he killed his first man at 15. From that day forward, he had a price on his head and wouldn't back down for nobody. Not even Wild Bill Hickok himself. Dobra, na następnym odcinku będę się dalej bawił w pojedynki i wielkiego łowcy nagród. Także na razie, cześć.